Okay, this is the old electrical panel. Only had two breakers for AC. Only four fire circuits. And a big heavy converter, which doesn't want to work right. So I'm replacing it with that, which is. Oops. No screws. Oh, I got this to put in. Hold on. This thing weighs, I think, six pounds. That thing weighs about 30. What a cutie little thing, huh? Now you gotta figure out how to throw this big hole and how and what to do with it. This could be a nice little storage thing. Hmm. Sleep on it. Okay, that's about what I'm gonna do. This will go about. like so. But I think I want to stain this first if I got stain to match this. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing installed. And working. Proper. Okay, I'm putting this panel in. Started yesterday. And I forgot to bring the camera Put that in yesterday, straightened up all these wires, took all kinds of stuff apart. This floor in here, and that cabinet in there, to trace these wires. Uh, took stuff apart over here, it turned out that a short circuit that I caused, I don't know, happened while I had this apart. Damaged some wiring in the furnace that's in here. I gotta put this in, get this working, deal with that furnace. Okay. DC fuses in, DC circuit breakers in, everything tested, panel screwed down. We're done with this part. Okay, that's it. Oh, uh, still in the shop here. With shore power. Gonna wire in this. Basically, it's a battery pack. 1,000 watts, 1,500 watt hours. And this and two solar panels. This four panels, this size. I will need this. Scratch this up out of the shop. I will need this to run from that to the electrical panel. I will need this to run from there to the outside solar panels. This is 10 meters, 33 feet. This comes with that for this. And this to charge that. It's going in here. Oh yeah, I put this foam insulation board down to absorb some of the vibration. Bouncing down on it. I also bought this the battery selective switch. Let's see, this is two circuits. Uh, so that I can switch between no power to the electrical panel or 
house batteries which are under the hood or Blue Eddy. This thing here. Okay. Okay, the DC part of this is done. Zero position, no DC voltage going to the panel. This is house battery up under the hood. And that's going to be blue ready. Right there. Cigarette don't like the ego. <laughs> or whatever. Alright. Tomorrow we do the AC. We gotta go home. Back again today, two days later. Continue on this, even if it is freezing. Well, not freezing, but it is cool. And another trespasser. Okay, this thing is not a real good stay tight. Comes loose too easy. I gotta do something else about that. Okay, other than that, all I gotta do is pad this, put the door on, raise it up, put this back in. And the solar cable goes back over to here, over to there. And I don't need to go no further until I get a hatch. I cut a hole in the outside. Another hole. I hate holes in motorhomes. Okay, put stuff back together. Okay, it's in and I think it's done. I put in some weather strip here to seal this off a little bit better. And I cut a piece of foam that can be pushed out from this side pushed in from the other side to further insulate this. And you can reach in there and get the cord for the solar panels. Pretty easy. Should work good. Okay, this is done. I came over here on a bright sunny day, which it ain't now. Check this out and uh, make sure everything works, which it does. We have uh, at the moment we got 40 37 and dropping. Okay. Uh, okay, today's a little bit of a solar day. I'm going to for some shade here. How about inside, which it now is probably going to run a 40 ish watt. Outside for a little bit so that I can make a measurement on something else. Wait, please. Four solar panels. For free. That one definitely works. They're heavy. I could do, uh, do some measurements and cleaning. Uh, this is wonderful. Okay, there we go. Two panels on the roof, all the wires under. 
Except for seven inches here, and about 14 inches over there. Everything else is staying under here nice and neat, and I'll tie it down just in case. Goes in here. And down. The refrigerator cooler thing is right down here. Okay, we'll go down through that floor into the electrical compartment. Into the electrical compartment, I see. Okay. One of the other things that I did was this. This is a newer type panel. I think there's room, I think it's 10, 10 DC circuits, the first two are uh, higher amperage. And these are AC circuit breakers. More about all that later. Like right now, I guess. <laughs> The old panel only had uh, four break, four fuses for DC. This one has in use. We got five in use room for some more. And uh, this converter works, whereas the other one didn't. The other panel made. A lot of buzzing noise when uh, it made the attempt to work and it also weighed about 25 pounds this thing weighs not much wonder if it's here I don't think so not much um, the way these work this one is the main breaker for AC shoreline you flip this up and the bar across the top here gets hot and then you can turn on the converter and turn on the AC outlets. That one, one behind me, one around the corner, and one behind the refrigerator. This says Blue Eddy. And what the hell does that mean, you wonder? Well, Take note of that. Put one of these things in here. Fits in here real nice. I don't know what else I would do with this little storage space. But, um, this is kind of soft wired, if you will, to the motorhome. In other words, I can have this out and in another vehicle in about one minute. It's not bolted down, doesn't need to be. It's on a foam insulating thing to absorb vibration. Don't slap back and forth this way. That gray cord right there is an AC line which goes over to that breaker. So when I'm on the boonies, flip this up and the AC outlets flip that up and these will be powered 120 volt sine wave for laptops charging stuff up what have you not it actually even works the microwave which I don't keep out because I don't use it all that often <sighs> but I store it right there thing is really old but it's small and works. It's got a turntable. Does work. I don't know about well. But like I said, I don't really use it all that often. When I do use it, it's for 30 seconds to heat something up. All right, where were we? Uh, I've been in trouble with my knee today. Arthur, wouldn't you know? Hacking up, the son's a bitch. I guess that would be 
Arthur Itis. Everybody knows him. Almost everybody. Where are we at here? This part. This is a, a battery selector switch. Right now it's on number two, which means it's going to Blue Eddy. This cord here. Twenty-seven watts is being used right now because the cooler refrigerator is running. To when it's in zero position, no voltage goes to this, and when it's in one position, the voltage from the battery under the hood goes to this. Uh, what else do you, would you like to know? that number that is the solar panels on their roof yeah huh solar panels on their roof I wasn't planning on doing that but somebody gave me four panels so I thought I'd stick them up there and see what happens oh well, now we're up getting up there the highest number I ever saw here under what I would say is ideal conditions You know what? That feels a little warm. I'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, where the hell was I at? The highest number I saw under ideal conditions is 380 watts input. And for some reason, all I'm getting is 265-ish and sometimes much lower. And it's a bright sunny day. Uh, at least it appears to be. <clears throat> so, unplug DC power to the motorhome. Unplug the input, in this case, from the roof. By the way, I have another input labeled ground. This cable goes over there and comes out of the side of the motor home for those solar panels that are right here. Nicely folded up out of my way. Uh, let's see, as I recall, they produce 120, or uh, rated at 120 watts, but you don't get that much. Huh. I gotta remember to pay attention to this, I don't want this getting too warm. This is the charger for the Blue Eddy. And this is what I use to join those two panels to the cord that I have going outside. Let me show you that. This little hatch right here. has this and this runs over the blue eddy and this runs out about 19 feet so I can put the uh, electrical panels the solar panels out here while keeping the motor home in shape theoretically and there's a piece of foam block in here goes in here when from the other side uh, 
to insulate it, keep the cold there to a minimum that's gonna go in there. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know if I already covered this, but this is the vehicle battery, Interstate, Megatron. Uh, powers the vehicle. This one is the house battery, also Interstate, Group 24, Marine Deep Cycle. Just like it says right there. This is a smart isolator. Once this voltage gets above a certain level, it will charge this. When the voltage, you turn the vehicle off and the voltage drops below a certain level, this circuit opens up that way. No matter how much you draw, you can never drain down that battery. Unless there's an L function. Okay, everything else under here looks pretty good. That's about it. I guess I gotta book on home. Uh, a few more modifications. This used to be a cigarette lighter. It's now a power port socket. Power port, as far as I'm concerned, is the correct name for these things. You plug a... Plug... You stick a plug in there to power up your whatever. It's not a cigarette lighter anymore. You put a cigarette lighter in there and it won't work and it will be fuse blowing it. Stuff like that. This is USB, two of them. I wonder what. Three point oh, is that? And this one is another power port. That turns them on. And this one goes to the battery, so does that, of course. So you could drain the battery if you're not paying attention but most of these things do draw low current so you'll have lots of time to catch it this one also I put in this will turn it on that's the voltage coming from the panel and this is another power port for stuff like this. <sighs> Come on. A CB radio that I don't think anybody CBs with anymore. But I got one. And this is a couple more power ports. Okay. Those are not connected. That one and that one. Neither is uh, that one, if there's even a speaker here anymore. Nor that one. I'm not into that kind of thing, so. But maybe someday I'll do something about that just for the fun of the challenge. What else do you need to know? Okay.